top stuff. I'm going to pop that down there. Amy, we've got another translator uh, coming up onto the stage. Um, and I'm going to interview... I'll, I'll introduce both of them because I'm going to struggle with the Mexican name here. Uh, we have from Slovenia, it's Lightfly! Here we go. And from Mexico, we have La Cuera Racing ST! Here we go. Two drivers uh, head away. Welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> do you need I? Do you need a translator? Uh, gonna try. Gonna try. Oh, amazing. So tell me, how are you feeling? Como estás? Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about this hat we have here. What? This hat. Oh, it's a Mexican hat. <laughs> And do you what, wanna use it? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you very much. That's awesome. I'm what, do you sorry. Look handsome? Uh, do you have a Slovenian hat? <laughs> Not yet, but I'll, I'll let you have this. And what do you have here? What have you brought? Snacks. Oh, it's not very long race. You'll be fine. It's for you. Yeah. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh. What is this? Explain this. What is this stuff? Oh, thank you. This is handmade. It's coconut. And this one? It's candy. Okay, that sounds dubious. Okay, uh, what does it mean to you to be here representing Mexico at the world final? Uh, we are very exciting. We are represent uh, not just the community of Laquepaque, your town. We are represent Mexico and all young people that uh, following her dreams. Any questions from you, Amy? You are not the only Mexican team. There are lots of Mexican teams. Are you friendly or is it competition? No, we are very friendly. In Mexico, we are very friendly and we, we are like a family. And do you think you can win? Do you still want to beat the other teams, the other Mexican teams? Do you still want to beat the other Mexican teams? Do you want to win? I think you, do you want to win? Want to win the competition? Come first, number one? Yes, of course. <laughs> well, I love to hear that. We will find out more from our Slovenian team here next to me after the first race. And there you have it, Lightfly heading down very quickly indeed, 1.164 and a very fast reaction time by Tlaquer, Tlaquer, how do I pronounce it? Tlaquer, your name, team name, Tlaquer. Tlaquer Racing. Tlaquer Racing, perfect, thank you very much. Top stuff from you, who am I passing this one? Yes, Hello. talk to me, welcome, Slovenia, representing Slovenia. What does it feel like to be here at the world final? Very excited. First time here for us, for our country. No way. So no other team has ever competed from Slovenia before? First and only. First and only, but not the last. Luca, tell me about your team. Yes, uh, we assembled this year. We made all ourselves. Uh, I hope we make great progress. Times are good. Excited about it. And why light fly? Tell me about this. Because the weight is an important factor. Uh, we want to be light so you can move faster. And who is the team? So you're Luca. Who else have you got here? I have here Marco and Jure. Down the track, uh, driver is Jaka and Janes at the end. Okay. And why did you want to get involved in F1 in schools? Because it's such an amazing opportunity to be here around amazing people, to see new opportunities, new countries. And what is the... Because I, I know that everyone loves being part of F1 in schools. But what's the most challenging part? What, what makes you think, oh, I don't know if I, can, I want to continue because this is really challenging. What, what makes you keep going? The competitors. You have to be at front. Uh, otherwise, you're losing it. There's, but, there's not other way around it. Well, this is good to hear. And if I came over to your pit display, what is the best bit of your pit display? Sustainability. Okay. We made all uh, recycled materials, cardboard, wood, aluminium. Okay, so next year when you come back, we need to get a Slovenian hat 
That's what we need. That's the next thing. But what we need right now is a good time on the track. Best of luck to both teams. There we go, 1.127, 1. it's a good time. No improvement though, if you'd like fly, oh, what an improvement. They move up to fourth place, Lightfly, representing Slovenia for the first time ever in the world final. They are happy with that, a top five. Talk to me, Luca, go on. Yeah, excited, wasn't expected that, it's better that we, f we think it would. Um, who do you want to thank? There's some people, the driver coming back, but who do you want to thank back at Slovenia, in Slovenia or people that have helped you be here? Yes, our sponsors, they help us to be here, our family for motivation, our teachers to support. Yes, thank you everybody. Oh, perfectly said. Well, listen, let me take that, let me pass it over to our Mexican team here. Uh, final thoughts, what's going through your mind what, from what you saw on the track? Are you happy with what you saw on the track? Very happy. <laughs> I have a, a thing to say. Okay, you have, okay. Viva Mexico! Viva! What they said. I love it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much. Uh, and it was so lovely to meet you. Thank you for letting me wear your sombrero. I felt very Mexican for a second. Yes, now but you are Mexican. This is awesome. I love that. Well, listen, give it up for both of the teams, Dakla Racing, ST, and of course, Lightfly going up to fourth. Incredible stuff. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. There you go. Adios. Hasta mañana. There we go. The We're team done. from Ireland, it's Kronos Racing. We have Lightfly from Slovenia. <laughs> Epic stuff. Let's pass that mic over to Kronos Racing. Uh, currently joint 11th. Talk me through where your guys' minds are at. Uh, well, obviously the first race, everyone's first race, went all right. And then second race, hopefully we're hoping for better times this time. You know, we've learned a lot from our first race, so yeah, hopefully this time. And how's the day been? It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. We've been here since 9 a.m. So it's now what seven. So it's it's been quite a long day. So quite a long day. We're keeping the energy high. You know, gotta gotta bring it for this last race. You've got to bring it. And can I say, and I mean this with uh, love and respect, and because I like them, you do have like a swimming short vibe about you. And I'm just concerned when you go back to the hotel, people might think that you're a poolside attendant and might be in there to rescue people. Has that happened so far? We've been told that we look like we're from Baywatch, so. Hello, I think someone's hitting on you a little bit there. So, so yeah, there is that vibe. Yeah. What is the theory behind your, your uh, team identity? Um, so basically, we just wanted to like incorporate the colors. We thought it was gonna be outside, so it's gonna be really hot, so that's why we had shorts. Um, it's actually really cold in here, um, but like it still works, it still works, it's still out to the vibe, so we're very happy. Okay, so Kronos Racing, if you are getting into difficulty, uh, land or sea, these guys will rescue you, Baywatch uh, style. Uh, okay, so there you go, uh, best of luck, I'll take that microphone, pass it over to the Slovenian team and find out how they're feeling. I mean, you are eighth on the leaderboard and it's your first time competing. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And do you think you can get even higher? Uh, we are feeling optimistic, yeah, so it wouldn't hurt to get a couple places, yeah. Do you have any tips that you could give to any teams that are new, that have struggled with um, the new regulations? Uh, just try to design the lightest car possible, that's our... The lightest hint. car, that is all you need, and obviously it's working as eighth place, so have you got any plans to celebrate tonight? Uh, tonight, no, because there's a, a tough couple of days ahead of us, so uh, we'll wait with the celebrations because the competition is not over yet, but after we will have a celebration, yeah. Yeah, another two, three days, two days of racing we have. Two days of racing, and we're going to go racing right now, trackside with Oscar and the two drivers. Best of luck. One point one five three for Kronos Racing. No improvement in the time. Good reaction times. And uh, light fly. So I feel like both of these cars have already proved that they can go faster. Let's see if that happens. 
I don't know about you, Amy, but I think I'm hoping there might be a hot drink coming at some point just to keep us uh, awake. Maybe some sort of hot water with a honey or lemon for the throat. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe, no? Very, very subtle, Tom. Very, very subtle. I think I am being very subtle there. Uh, but um, uh, great stuff from both of the teams. We can go faster than that, can't we? we you've, you've already proved you can go faster. What's holding you back right now? Uh, we're betting on Corby as it was faster earlier. Uh, we're betting that it will be faster this time uh, also. Look at the precision being used there from the teams. I'm going to take that microphone from you uh, and pass it over uh, to our Irish team. Um, you're here celebrating, it feels like that, the achievement you've done, but when you're about to race again, do the nerves kick back in again? I wouldn't say it's nerves, I'd say it's more adrenaline. Like we're so hyped, we're so pumped to be here. It's the first time our school has gone this far in the competition. And like we're in Singapore, so like you can't really complain. No complaints here, because we're about to go racing. Felt quick. 1.190 for Lightfly. Not as quick as they have done in the past. However, still a very quick time. And that means there's no movement there for Lightfly or for Kronos Racing. So that means the two Irish teams stay joint 11th at the moment. Of course, Catalyst Racing the other Irish team. All right, then, final thoughts, then, from the guys, Kronos. Um, not ideal. We thought maybe that we could get a bit more performance out of the car, but, you know, we're still in the good position. There's two more races tomorrow, so we'll see what will happen. I look forward to it, and uh, uh, I will see you, probably, no doubt, back at the hotel, getting prepared, ready for tomorrow, guys. It's a pleasure to chat to you. I'll let your teammates join you, but I'll take that microphone. Final thoughts uh, from our team over here. Luca, final thoughts for your team? Yeah, uh, we're betting on the next round and kickoff uh, competition because we got a uh, great driver. And I just want to say, we have had a conversation over here about yeah. how great your teacher is. So loud, so supportive. So if you want to say... Yeah, uh, thank you, our greatest mentor, Daniel Bedenik. He's currently taking photo. He's busy, <laughs> but he appreciates it. Uh, listen, thank you very much to Kronos Racing from Ireland and to Lightfly from Slovenia. We'll see you later on. Take care, enjoy the rest of the competition and the rest of the day. There they go. They're out of there. The Baywatch boys have left the building. And now we welcome...